Hey friends, welcome to my week as a student in the Netherlands, working, studying, trying to take care of my health. Currently it's 11.17 and I'm taking a little break from studying. Uh, so now I'm gonna pack my lunch, then I'm gonna go back to studying and then I'm gonna go uh, to the university. I'm just gonna eat a quick lunch now. Sushi that I tried to cut but it didn't work. And this cheese croissant. I have another 13 minutes to study maybe, so I'm just gonna try and do my assignment, which is due in two days. And I already tried it once, but I need at least 70% uh, and I got 30. And yeah, I managed to do the assignment, so I was really happy. Actually, it was the first Monday of the month, so they were testing alarm systems. And here I'm going to the university. Today I had a tutorial in accounting and we were discussing homework solutions in small groups. And that's how my university looks like, or at least like one of the study buildings. I just finished my classes, then I studied with a couple of people from my tutorial group, and now I'm going to work. I will tell you more about my work during the weekend, but it involves being outside. And today we had a thunderstorm in Rotterdam, so I got completely soaked. I'm drenched. That's fashion. Yeah, I'm slightly late to the lecture. After my lectures, I studied for a bit with my friend. I'm going to my second lecture of the day. It's really sunny and summery right now, which I love. That's our new university building, Erasmus Sport. Wow, it's huge actually. It's bigger than I thought. Okay, and there's our canteen. And then I studied again before going to the pole dance class. I also got a goodie bag when entering to the library and I was really excited about this. I am in the city center of Rotterdam and I'm going on a pole dance class. And I guess that when I get home, I'll just go to sleep because it will be already quite late. Uh, but I'm pretty satisfied with what I did today. I did like a lot of flashcards and I'm gonna show you here. That was my to-do list for accounting. And I also went on two lectures. That literally never happens, but I'm the first one to arrive. I think it's the first time in my life that they experience this. It's literally silence before storm. Okay, so that's the current vibe. We're gonna watch an episode of our series and the storm is just, is just going. On Wednesday, I attended something I wanted to do for a long time, which is a clothing swap. So I brought some clothes I didn't want anymore, and I could swap them with other people's clothes. I don't know if I should take these things, because they're kind of nice, but I don't know if I'll wear them, like 100%. But then I can just swap them. Okay, I'm gonna take these three. I'm gonna have a dance class soon. At 6 p.m. now it's 4 p.m. so I either go back home or I stay here and study. I don't really want to study. I don't feel like it but I feel like I'm gonna do that because that just makes sense. Today I'm gonna study in the Sanders Law Library. So I actually did some flashcards. That day was quite productive. I woke up late and left straight for my classes. After that, I studied accounting, uh, which is my most intense subject right now. It's a lot of content, a lot of exercises. My other subject is math, so I only have two subjects and that one is a bit easier. I got really cold in the library, so I'm changing my study spot. We're in Old Haven. This is an event organized by my study association as a part of a sustainability week at my university. And we basically tried different kinds of locally produced beer and the producers told us about it. And now choose our own beer. Yeah, for some reason. And we're choosing the milk beer. The milk beer tasted a bit like condensed milk and coffee, which is good. Hey guys, it's 10.30 and I got up and kind of got myself ready. Today I decided not to go to the first lecture because I need to wash my hair. Yesterday there was no warm water and there is still none, so I have to wash my hair in the cold water. Also, the lectures are not mandatory, so if I don't go it just means I, I have to learn from the slides, not from the lecture explaining. 
Uh, so yeah, I didn't study this morning, but at least I ate some good breakfast. I hate myself sometimes <laughs> for leaving that late. So yes, after running to my class, I made it and it was a compulsory mentoring course that we have and we played a board game. I currently feel like taking a nap. I think I'm gonna just go home, maybe do something there. On the weekend, I will have work and I also would like to just rest. I have midterms in 11 days. Like overall, I think I'm doing okay because I'm doing all the homework and the assignments, but it's just not chill. I came home by metro because my bike broke last weekend and I don't know whether I should fix it or sell it. I'm going to pick up a shelf to the neighbor. They live in a penthouse. Oh wow, well, look what they have. It's, it's the corridor. And here you have a view. And you can see the other penthouses. I'm just kind of scared, not gonna lie. <laughs> Shit. That's the shelf. After yet another decoration to my apartment, I ended up not studying because I called a friend. 9 p.m. And I just finished talking to my friend over like a video call. I'm going to work. It's 8.13. I started at 8 15 so that's tight but i woke up really late <laughs> i feel like i really need to do something about my sleep routine like i go to sleep mostly around midnight and i wake up usually around eight or nine but i kind of would want to make it more routines more specific today i have such a cute bag i love it and it's like way more sturdy than other bags so about my work I found a part-time position at Gorillas, which is an online supermarket and we deliver food by bike, which is quite popular in the Netherlands. And sometimes I work as a rider and that means I take an order, I ride my bike to a customer and I give them what they ordered. And honestly, it's kind of satisfying. I like how it's task-based. Obviously, it's really like weather dependent. I also work inside the warehouse, so that depends on the day. And now I'm trying to switch to do mostly that or only that because I don't want to ride the bike uh, when it's winter. And basically, I pack the orders from the customers. I also replace the products. I unpack the deliveries from our food providers. So it's kind of interesting like you have to stand a lot but it's it's okay this is what we got from too good to go for five euros i have only like 20 minutes left so i hope i maybe take uh, one more and then i'll be back and go home. i love google maps according to google my order is here but they don't know anything about it okay apparently the guy lives on the boat my tip from riding Yesterday I got eight and four into my hand, so I don't have to share it with anyone. Hey guys, it's already the end of this vlog because I'm going to sleep. Okay, bye. Thank you for watching and uh, thank you for being here. And if you have any questions or suggestions, you can let me know.